Hey everyone, welcome to another review, and here's my review for the movie The Happy Time Murders. Yes, The Happy Time Murders stars Melissa McCarthy, Joe McHale, uh, Maya Rudolph, Elizabeth Banks, and this movie is directed by Brian Henson, yes, the late Jim, Jim Henson's son, and... Yes, before I get to this, yes, I'm, uh, yes, I'm in a different area of my room. Oh my god, what the fuck's happening? Yes, I was thinking, like, where, where am I located now? I'm still in the same spot. I'm actually filming this from my bed, legit, because I'm not feeling well. I'm actually, I've been pretty sick, actually, for the past few days, and I thought I'd just shoot a bunch of videos from my bed. I'm lazy as fuck, and I didn't want to film in any area. I didn't even want to stand up. I just said, you know what? Film, tripod, lights, let's shoot this. And everyone's been wanting me to talk about the Happy Time Murders. I saw those like a week ago, and you know what? I thought I could just, you know, lay low and not review review this movie and not even talk about it because, you know what? Everyone said what they need to say about this movie. Like, even the people who are positive about it even say it's a bad movie. So, what else can I say about this movie that, no, that everyone else hasn't said already? So... Uh, it's a shitty movie. The Happy Time Murders. The Happy Time Murders is about this puppet named Phil Phillips. He is a private investigator who used to be a police officer who used to be part, like, he's a part of this, like, Happy Time group. It's all these puppets and stuff. It's like a TV show and stuff. And basically all the puppets are getting murdered and stuff. Who's doing the murders, though? Yes, all these puppets from the Happy Time show are all getting killed and stuff, and there's also this, like, undertone of puppets and racism and stuff, and, you know, I get it, I get it. And basically, Phil Phillips has to team him up with his old partner, played by Mel Melissa McCarthy, and Melissa McCarthy has, like, I don't know, this is, it's a spoiler, but, like, she's got, like, puppet jeans in her because she got shot one time, and... It's a spoiler, but who gives a fuck? But, uh, yeah, that, that that's the reason why she hates Phil Phillips and she doesn't want to be his partner again, but they have to team up, put aside their differences, and team up and catch the killer who's killing all these puppets and stuff. And that's our movie, The Happy Time Murders. And honestly, this could have been a really good movie and a really funny film, actually. It could have been another, like, Team America, World Police. Yes, America, fuck yeah, here to save the motherfucking day. Yes, I love that. But that's that's from the creators of South Park, so they know what real comedy is. I don't know much about Brian Henson other than he's related to Jim Henson, a much talented, much more talented person. And from the trailers, it did look funny. But after watching this movie, I just realized they put all their comedy into the trailers because this movie is not even really all that funny. It's actually just to be like a very serious crime fi film and put sprinkles of comedy in it, which. Stupid. It's kind of dumb doing it. Like, if it was just, if it was actually done well, the drama, it could have been a good film, but it's not done well. It's actually not a very well acted and not even a really well told story. It's very, it's almost every cop story ever made about prejudice and about partners hating each other and stuff. It's like every buddy cop film ever made. There's nothing original or fresh about this movie. There's not one joke that's even fresh or like something different. There's like, Puppet semen and stuff. We've seen that. We saw Team America with puppet, se puppet semen, puppet piss, puppet shit. There was a sex scene in that movie when the, the two people shit on each other. Like, come on. We've seen gross-out humor with puppets and shit like that. So, we've seen it all. We've seen it all. And for someone who loves puppets, and I love the Muppets and everything, I wanted to see something so weird and out there and really, and really funny. But it's not. This movie's not funny. It's not clever. It's not well-written. And I just, I didn't give a shit. Like, I really didn't. It's, it's, it's such a cliched cop story. I just didn't care about any of these characters. And the only funny scene, again, was the, the semen joke that was in the trailers. That was the funniest part of this movie. I was like, that's pretty sad. Like, this movie tries to be, at times, funny because they're puppets, so it's a puppet smoking. That's funny, right? It's a puppet cursing. That's funny, right? No. It's not funny. Like, Put effort into your comedy and put effort into your story. Melissa McCarthy is a very hit and miss with me. I love her in Spy. I love her in Bridesmaids and shit like that. She was god-awful in Life of the Party, and she's god-awful in this film. She has zero chemistry with this puppet, and she's not funny. And you don't feel bad for her. You're supposed to feel bad for her in, in some moments, but you don't feel bad. She's kind of an unlikable bitch in this movie. And when she tries to be likable, I, I just didn't buy it. I hated her character... And I couldn't stand any time she was on screen. I just couldn't stand her. Phil Phillips is not bad. I, I don't know the actor's name who plays him. And I don't care to look it up because 
that would require effort. <laughs> effort is something that this movie didn't do, so why am I going to do it? And Phil Phillips, <clears throat> he was a good character. I liked Phil Phillips. It wasn't very funny, but I did enjoy his character, and he did have the one good scene in this film, so I give him that, and I enjoyed him for what he is. And Joel McHale could have been a really funny character, because he's kind of like the douchebag character and stuff, and I think, because it's Joel McHale. Like, I love Joel McHale. I love him in Community and stuff. He could have been a really stupid, like, douchey character if they gave him, like, funnier lines, but they just made him a, a stereotypical asshole. Like, he could have been a super funny character, but he, he wasn't. And, of course, they got, like, this stereotypical angry black captain and stuff who just yells and says, No, you two gotta get along and stuff. And I'm like, oh, my God. Every cliche in a crime movie. And, ah, uh, this movie just isn't good. Like, the puppetry is really cool and stuff. There's, like, one or two scenes that are funny. And I do like the main character, Phil Phillips. But the movie as a whole is pretty effortless. And it's not funny. And it's just super generic. It's super cliched. And just... It's not a good movie. It's not the worst of the year. Like, some people think it's, like, the worst film of the year. It's not. It's not, like, Slender Man or Forever My Girl or Fifty Fucking Shades Freed, but it's still a bad movie. And a movie that... It needed more effort put into it. And it needed better writers. And this is not a good film. And if you're curious to see it, don't see it. it just skip it. It's not funny. It's not, it's not a Muppets movie. It's not a Team America movie. It's just a really bad comedy with some really bad writing and some really, not one thing that is the slightest bit original or fresh. And yeah, it's just, it's not good, so skip it. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the movie The Happy Time Murders a 3.6 out of 10. So yeah, definitely skip this one. From what, it, from what I've seen, a lot of people have been skipping it, so... Good job. So yeah, that was my review for the movie, The Happy Time Murders. So yeah, the comment section below, please tell me what is your favorite and least favorite movie about puppets? Yes, favorite and least favorite movie about puppets. Obviously, mine's The Muppet Movie. That's like the best, the original Muppet Movie and The Muppets from 2011. Least favorite? This one right here. Oh, yeah. Well, does uh, the Garbage Bill Kids, does that count? I think that counts. I don't know. But yeah, what is your favorite, least favorite movie about puppets? So yeah, comment below, let me know. And as always, if like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.